guys <laughs> so I'm starting to feel pretty under the weather so I think I'm not gonna make very many videos this week I'm really really sorry but last week I did share some really exciting news there's gonna be a new baby in the nursery really soon and I am so super excited about this but I also wanted to talk about what's making me so excited about this because it's something we all kind of face or something that happens to all of us in the reborn community. So, <laughs> um, there's this word called nesting and what that means is it usually in real life, it usually refers to a pregnant mom and what she does to prepare for the baby. So buying new clothes, cleaning the house, buying a crib, getting accessories, painting the room, and all this stuff the new mom does to prepare for baby. And in the reborn community, a lot of us like to nest before we get a new baby. And I think I've done that with quite a few of my babies where I'll start getting really nesty. And I, at least I did that definitely for Lila and my first reborn baby, Paisley. For Paisley, I painted all kinds of signs for her. I got furniture for her. I got all kinds of clothes for her. I went crazy when I got Paisley. But also when I got Paisley, that was right around when Babies R Us was closing. So I was able to get a lot of stuff for pretty cheap and on sale. So that was part of it. And she was my first and I didn't, I was going crazy. I was having a lot of fun. And then with Lila, I waited like eight months to get baby Lila. So I was just picking up all kinds of things. My family members were picking up all kinds of things for her and we were all getting really excited. And if you don't know the story of Lila, basically she did not go as planned. Um, everything kind of went wrong. So um, I had pretty much given up on getting a Saskia doll when I started to notice the Tobiah kit. Everybody was posting pictures of a Tobiah kit and I was like, oh my God, what was I thinking wanting a Saskia? I want a Tobiah because I love smiling dolls. Babies that are smiling are so cute. And then I had already for a very brief amount of time had a Saskia, so I knew I liked bigger babies and I liked how they felt and just everything about bigger babies. But while so i still got my saskia i am still super happy with lila i y'all know how much i love lila she's all i post videos of right now i love lila so much i need to take videos of other babies i know but she's so precious and i love her um <laughs> y'all know i love her and you guys know i'm just so excited to have her in my life the Saskia kit just was no longer my dream baby. It kind of became Tobiah and that sweet little smile. So, Ethan, when I was being a little bit dramatic and was like, I really want an impulse buy and I was about to make a really dumb impulse buy, he kind of went behind my back and talked to a friend of mine who's an artist and was like, will you make her a Tobiah? And she told me that that's what she's doing and I don't know much else. I think they are plotting behind my back. A few surprises is what I have heard um, on how to make her special. So what I've been doing to make her special is, <laughs> this video is gonna be all about nesting. Anyway, um, what I did to make her special was I came up with a name that means a lot to me. So story time. Once upon a time, I was about 13 years old and my dad was deployed. My dad's been in the military my whole life and he was deployed overseas for about six months when I was in the eighth grade. And he came back right before my birthday. So as a special trip for him being back home and for me turning 14, we went to Disneyland and it was my very first trip to Disneyland and I was so excited. Now, 
we, I also grew up four wheeling in Jeeps a lot. I have a Jeep tattoo. I have a Jeep. I love Jeeps. That's something probably not a lot of you guys know about me is I grew up in Jeeps, have loved them my whole life. I've loved going off-roading and just being in the woods with a Jeep. Love it. Favorite thing. <laughs> Anyways, actually you might have known that Paisley has a whole outfit on Jeeps. <laughs> Um, so anyways, we went on the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland, and if you don't know what that is, it is basically like one of the Indiana Jones movies, and you are in a Jeep, and you are on this wild, bumpy, crazy adventure, and I loved everything about it. I fell absolutely in love. Um, I had no idea who Indiana Jones was. I didn't have a clue about anything. I just knew I loved this ride, and I... <laughs> I loved it. So what I did, what I did when we got home from Disney, I didn't know if my parents would be okay with me watching Indiana Jones or not. And this is my disclaimer. If you are under 18 years old and if you don't know if your parents want to watch, want to let you watch a movie or not, ask them permission. Do not do what I did. This, I did something bad. Don't do what I did, okay? But what I did was I went under their movie jar, or movie jar, I went under the movie cabinet where they kept all the DVDs and VHSs, because we still have VHSs, and that's where I found Indiana, the first Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then we also had Indiana Jones and, let me see, it wasn't Temple of Doom. Oh, we had Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Sorry, I can't remember which ones we had. But every morning when I was getting ready for school, when my parents were at work, I would watch 30 minutes of the movie. I would wake up early just so I could watch 30 minutes. So it took me quite a few weeks to be able to finish the movies. But I did it and I was in love. Um, once again, if you are under 18 years old and your parents don't want you to watch a certain movie, don't do what I did. I was a naughty kid. Don't do that. But I fell in love with Indiana Jones. I would write all kinds of stories about what if I was some cool adventurer and all the adventures I would go on. And I even had an Indiana Jones type hat that I stole from my dad. I was in love and that love carried on like my whole life. You can ask any of my your in real life best friends or my fiance, they all know Indiana Jones is my jam. That's my ringtone. I have quite a few Indiana Jones, anything I can find really. I've read quite a few of the novels. I, if I am stressed out, if I'm not looking at stuff for my next Disney trip, I am reading an Indiana Jones book on the beach. That's how you know I'm stressed as I'm reading Indiana Jones. Um, <laughs> We did a four-wheeling day for work where we all went four-wheeling together and as loud as I could get the volume on my Jeep, I was playing the um, Indiana Jones song. I'm like, he is my thing. <laughs> and a little fun fact for those of you who don't know much about the Indiana Jones like franchise, his real name is not Indiana, his real name is Henry. Henry Jones Jr. is his real given name. So my, for years now I've been like, one day I'm gonna have a son and I'm gonna name him Henry. And it never occurred to me that the name Indy is really increasing in popularity, especially for girls. And it just, so on Instagram, I had put out a thing when I knew I was getting the doll. I just put out a thing asking for name suggestions. And one of my friends who knows me um, put down the name Indy and I was like, yes, 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 that is the name. And that secured my bond with the doll like that because the moment I had her name, I knew her whole personality and who she was gonna be. And now I'm actually kind of kicking myself because I'm like, why did I just not save that name for my daughter? I could have a son named Henry and a daughter named Indy and it would be just perfect and I'm a crazy person. And Ethan's watching this right now and he's like, no, we are not naming a kid Henry and Indy. I'm probably gonna try and get him to name it. Marion though, Marion. He might let me go for Marion. Anyway, so the doll's name is gonna be Indy Marie. And Marie is for Indy's love interest in the first movie, and 
the latest movie. Um, her name is Marion, and or Marion, and so I thought shortened that it'd be Marie. So it's super cute. I love it. I that just really secured the bond because I I'm kind of combining two really big hobbies of mine and two really big interests of mine and turning it into one. Um, another good friend of mine in the doll community, they just made a Marion doll. Like, um, they took an American Girl doll and totally based her whole life off of what Marion Ravenwood from Indiana Jones, what her life would have been. And I guess I just thought the cool that was the coolest thing ever. So now I'm just so excited to have my own doll. <laughs> now, I'm not going like that. She's I'm kind of, I'm still working and thinking of what her personality is going to be and all this stuff she's going to do and what she's going to like, but I'm not going to have her be like a baby from 1904 or anything like that. I think what I'm going to do is she's going to be still a modern baby like any other baby in my nursery, but I'm starting to see what her personality would be and she's a lot more adventurous. She wants to do the Jeep thing. She would be the one who'd be going off and having crazy adventures. Think Tommy from Rugrats maybe? Yeah, probably definitely Tommy from Rugrats if you guys are old enough to have watched Rugrats or young enough to have watched Rugrats. I'm in this weird age gap in the reborn community where I feel like everybody's either a lot younger than me or a lot older than me and I'm somewhere in the middle. But that's okay. Anyways, so she'd be a lot like Tommy from Rugrats. And if you watched Rugrats, especially the Rugrats movie, they base Tommy's character a lot off of Indiana Jones. And they'll do a few cute scenes with him, like with the whip or with the hat. And I that's just what I picture her as doing. I've, I've ordered an Indiana Jones onesie for her. I'm probably my next paycheck. I'm going to I found a crocheted Indiana Jones hat I'm gonna give her and I've and I'm finding just cute things like this dress I just got for her from the thrift store it's just blue and brown and I'm just as you guys can see with my other dolls I usually dress them like super girly super cutesy like they're going to church usually how I dress myself um, but I feel like I'm not gonna dress her as cutesy and as girly and as buoyantly pink, but more as like things she would also wear while she's off having fun and pretending she's on adventures. Hmm, I suppose that's pretty much her personality is just Tommy Pickles and in her own little baby head, everything is this big fun adventure and she's off doing big cool things. So that's how I, really got the bond with one of my dolls that's coming soon. How do you guys get the bond with your dolls? Do you guys set up personalities for your dolls and come up with what their favorite color is, what they like to do, what they're doing in their own baby head? Do you guys come up with unique names? What do you do to get the bond with your doll? Or are you just like, it's a doll, I named it, and I put it in whatever I like, and that's it. It doesn't have choices or a personality. I think <clears throat> Sorry. Hmm. I think because I th I think of these babies as dolls, so I get to use my imagination with them and they can be anything they want to be. They can do anything I want them to do. I don't just think of them as babies. I guess I also in my head when I'm looking at them, I kind of pretend that they are also thinking and also have likes and interests and aren't just thinking what real babies think which is I want milk um I don't know I guess I'm really eccentric but that's what really drew me I really prefer babies I think they're cuter I really prefer them to American Girl dolls but what drew me to American Girl dolls was it was really easy for me to just come up with their personalities and steer them in a really cool direction with my imagination. And for a while with Reborns, while I really love how cute they look, I wasn't really doing that. I wasn't really coming up with 
a story for them or using my imagination too much with them and I think that made me sad and now that I'm starting to find a way for me to use my imagination with them I am over the moon excited like um, Ethan said it in the video in the questions video recently where he was like the Indy's probably gonna be her favorite doll that's true Indy's gonna be my favorite doll not only is she a dream kit but She's got a dream name, dream personality. She is just the dream doll. And she's a good size. Oh my goodness. I have so many plans for this doll. It's going to be amazing. I'm ridiculous. Thank you guys for listening to me gush for so long. And just get to talk about this topic. And like I said, let me know down below about what you guys do when you have a new doll coming and if you use your imagination with your dolls or if you're just like baby drink some pretend milk doll <laughs> let me know what you guys do i'm always interested in what you guys have to say and i love you guys all so much you guys are all so wonderful i love you guys bye <laughs>